Well, it's a common tactic the Taliban have to try and penetrate inside uh, what's known as sort of the ring of steel that surrounds the capital, Kabul. They've done it relatively regularly to remind those in the government-held capital of their potency. But we haven't had a death toll like this, many think, actually, since about 2011 or so when a mosque was attacked. 30 killed today and over 300 injured. That itself a staggering number generated by the fact that it was a private parking lot behind this security apparatus building where the first bomber detonated his suicide truck. That blew a hole in the wall that let his accomplice in, and it took actually a number of hours for security forces there at the heart of their infrastructure to kill him. Uh, the key thing, of course, being that this was part of a bodyguard uh, unit for Afghan VIPs. You couldn't get really more to the heart of what should be safe in Kabul. And this is part of a broader strategy by the Taliban, this particular fighting season ahead, that's what the warmer summer months are known as, uh, to be seen to be on their front foot. They're much more prevalent in Helmand, where they've taken a lot of territory. They're pressuring the northern city of Kunduz, which they briefly took entirely uh, uh, late last year. So many fears, in fact, that Afghan security forces, unlike was the promise from U.S. officials before they withdrew, aren't really up to the job of suppressing that particular insurgency. And I think, actually, if you listen to the U.S. National Security uh, Council's statement today in response to this attack, they actually called the Taliban to the peace uh, negotiation table. While well, the Taliban have no real sign of wanting to do that at that stage, I think they see their success on the battlefield as more uh, prevalent here. And I think it shows, really, that the lack of possibly of policy options, certainly in the White House, maybe even in Kabul too. They both believe a negotiated settlement with the Taliban is the ultimate end goal, but it seems the Taliban, judging from this morning's horrifying attack here, many civilians and women and children amongst those dead, see peace talks really as not on the table right now, Harla. Well, so is this a sign of more to come? I mean, clearly you're saying the Taliban are registering this as some sort of military victory. They have no incentive to be talking to anyone right now. I think the real fear is, yes, we are in for some very bleak months ahead across Afghanistan, potentially with broader swathes of territory falling back into Taliban hands. They've not controlled so much Afghanistan as they do now since 2001, since before U.S. forces intervened. In fact, even top U.N. officials have stated that if the national unity government merely survives this year, that will be a success. The expectation bar set so low, Harla, as we move into this more violent summer season. I think many are deeply concerned that Kabul will see more of this and lives of ordinary Afghans already taken in record numbers through the violence uh, that will continue to be in jeopardy, Harla.